everyone, Linda Israel here, and today we're going to do something really cute and fun. I'm going to take these papers, and I'm going to turn them into tiny little envelopes that are lined on, or excuse me, that are got des designs on one side, and then on the inside it has a liner, and then we'll make a little couple of cards to put inside. So what I've done is I've pulled some pages out of some old books that some were given to me, some I picked up at thrift store, some I've just had, and then I've got a piece of scrapbook paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to adhere this to the scrapbook paper, much like we do in the Franken pages, except I'm not going to do the sewing afterwards. I'm going to make the envelopes. So I've got a few of these different pages here, and basically what I like to do is I kind of look at the paper and try to decide what I want to use and not use, and I will sort of hand tear this a couple of times. So I'm just going to tear a few pieces. Sometimes I already have pieces torn because they were from another project. And so I'll use those many times when I'm doing a project like this. I have a little file folder, pocket folders, that I put things in. Alright, so I'm getting a nice little pile here. Add some more. There's one that's already torn. All right, so I have a nice pile here, and what I'll do is I'll kind of lay them out where I think I might want to put the pages. It's not necessarily the permanent place that I'll put them, but just kind of getting an idea of what I like and where I can put pages. I like to try to put them so that they are somewhat straight on the page. I don't know if it just to me visually looks better in my opinion and it's okay if some of them are upside down and going in different directions I try to fill in all the spaces so I think I've got enough papers laid out here well, I can do something so see how I kind of map this out just a little bit and what I've got is a little glue pot here so use your favorite white glue put it in with some sponges and water and then this becomes a paste that you can use on paper and I like it because it's not near as messy and you don't use as much glue so I'm going to start with this one in the background the reason why I'm gluing this is because the papers are somewhat fragile and brittle and if I try to make the little envelope directly from the book pages that I had here they would just fall apart they disintegrated on me and I didn't like that look so I thought well what why not I can just attach it to a scrapbook page and then I have a two-sided piece of paper that's rather pretty. So there's the first one. And I'm just going to keep layering these down and filling this page in. Well, I've got all the pieces glued to this page that I want to use. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to trim off the excess edges. I'm going to let this air dry and then I'm going to take it to my Cricut and print out the envelope shapes. Now if you don't have a Cricut or a Brother Scanning Cut or even a Silhouette, you could open up an envelope and trace the outside edge of it with a black line and put it on a copier and reduce the size down until you get the size that you want. So that's an idea of how to get your envelope template and then you can just hand trace them out. But I'm going to cut this out and I'll be back and then we'll assemble the envelopes. Well I just cut these on my Cricut and this is why 
learn from my mis mistakes that you have to wait for it to dry because if you don't when it goes to cut it just rips the papers but fortunately it looks like I did manage to get a couple out of this so I'm just going to go ahead and peel this up off the mat and we'll use what was salvageable well I did manage to save a few of these and so here is the inside and then the outside of these envelopes so the next thing that I did with the ones that I made earlier was I took a ruler and this happens to be a metal thin ruler and I lined it up where the folds are supposed to be and then I folded it. Of course it might help if I turn it the correct direction. So then I just took each one and used that straight edge to be able to get the crease that I needed. I don't have a stylus tool for my Cricut yet. I haven't decided that I need one and then after making these I have thought about it and I have added it to my wish list. <laughs> so I'm just going around the edges of these and folding it up to where it needs to be. And then I will do that to all these pieces but for now we're just going to do the one. So what I like to do next is take my bone folder, bone folder and go ahead and really crease these folds because that will help this envelope to lay flat in my other stages and I may do this again a couple more times so there is my envelope without any distress ink on it so now we've got vintage photo and a ranger ink blending tool and I'm going to go around all the edges on all sides so I open up the envelope and go around all these edges so it, I don't know it just gives it that more vintage kind of grungy look to it. And then what I like to do is I fold all the pieces to the opposite direction and I'll go ahead and distress those edges. I don't know it's just it just looks cool to me that's why I do it. It does take a little extra time to do this and you don't have to. You could take other products and make a marker and go around that. So then there is my envelope just about ready to go. I want to add a little decoration here. So I've got a scrap that I saved and I've got a little Tim Holtz heart punch. I'm just going to go up here and punch out a little heart. I'm going to use the best glue ever and put a little dot on the back side of this heart. I'm going to place that right here. Oh, I forgot to put some distress ink on that. So what's good about the best glue ever is that even though I put it down, if I work quickly, I can pick it up and the glue will still be wet enough that that will stick into place. That looks a little better. Now for the inside of this, I have a couple of stamps. One of them looks like a little vintage postcard and I just stamped that out onto some cardstock with some black ink and then I went around the edges with the distressed ink and then I have a postage stamp Let's see if I can find which one it is it's this one again it's a stamp I've had for years and years and years I stamped it in the pine needles I use some Fisker paper edgers let me turn this around so you can see that paper edgers to trim it out and then I use the distressed ink around the edges so those are my little things that I put inside and I stacked them like so and then slid them inside and then I'll close up the envelope 
and again I'll crease it with my bone folder and then I took this is called Embelly Jelly from Scrap Perfect and it's a little sticky substance kind of like what you would see when you get a credit card offer just a little bitty bit is all I need I got more than I needed so I don't even know if you can see on the tip of my finger that's just a little bitty bit so I'm going to take that piece and put it right at the tip of that envelope if I can get it off my finger and then I'll close up this envelope and I'll press it really hard and what's neat about this it's a temporary stick it's not going to stay stuck forever and I'll be able to open this up and then I can you can barely see it because it's clear I can look at my things inside I could write something in there add a little photo if I wanted I can close it back up and I can write on the back side of these little pieces and then I can close this all up like so and the size of this envelope is approximately one and a half inches by one and a quarter inches it's almost square but not quite so it's actually it's one and three quarter inches by one and a half inches in size so I'm not done yet on this side with the little heart I want to place a little bitty uh, flat back rhinestone so I've got the best glue ever with the medium no clog writing tip and what I'm going to do make sure I'm in shot here is place just a dot right here on here and then I'll close this back up and I've got some rhinestones here get one out and again I have the embelly jelly this time it's on a little stick and so I'll pick that up with the embelly jelly and then I will stick that right on the glue and then that'll dry and we have a really cute envelope with a note card inside so let me show you all of them that I've made here's the others and how they turned out I'm okay with the writing being upside down on some of them I think that just gives it a little bit more charm so don't worry about the text the way you put it on there some of the envelopes I cut upside down on purpose and so they are coming out upside down so I hope you enjoyed seeing a little tutorial on making some little envelopes you know use a envelope that you already have just open it up trace it out and you've got your own little template by photocopying it shrinking it down to the size that you want it to be you may even find some little envelopes that you can trade with somebody else and then you'll have a little template I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends check the description box to the blog to get the supplies that I use today to order for yourself and of course, as always, if you have questions, please comment below. If you like this video, comment below. Tell me what you liked about it and share it with your friends so that others see it as well. Check out my description box for links to my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my blog as well. And thanks for watching, everybody. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fabulous day. Bye.